Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips Tuesday, where we teach you one business technical skill every Tuesday. Hope you enjoy. Okay, this isn't a typical Tech Tip Tuesday. This one we're going to talk about marketing. It's not something you normally think about your IT company helping you with marketing, but a lot of these marketing tools do require some configuration by your technical team. So one of the marketing pieces today, and it's just one small piece that we're going to talk about, and that is your signatures. On your emails, whenever you send an email out, yes, you can create your own signature in Outlook or in Outlook Web Access or Google, and, and you can make that look how you want, but there's actually a lot more you can do with that. You can use a third-party tool. Uh, on my screen here, I've got some screenshots from the website of Code2. That's a software that we use for ourselves and for our clients, and it gives you the ability to update your signatures with really amazing things like advertising, uh, where you can actually talk about a product or service or, or your, you know, it could be your, your operational hours, whatever you want to put on your email email signature, you can. And we like to have a little bit on there that's a marketing. What events you're going to be attending coming up if you're a larger organization going to association meetings. Uh, you can put that for the whole organization and you can deploy that globally. You can also make every single employee signature look professional where you might have some employees that use a massive font for their signatures or they want to put a picture in there. We've seen employees put a picture of the company logo that they pulled off the internet that's really grainy or it's just massive and they don't think it's big, but it's actually big on the person that receives it's uh, e inbox, but it's not big on theirs because they've sized it. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. But by using an email signature, it will append that signature on every email going out and you can control it centrally so that you can make sure that the message and the brand that you want your customer to know you as is always consistent across the board. So I'm gonna skip through here. So, so setting these up is, it's more complex than you would think because your email has to route from your mail provider out to code two. It has to append the signature and then it wants to, uh, and then it goes out to the, to the receiving end and they receive the signature. But if then if you respond to the email, you may want to have a slimmer signature for all responses. If you've ever been in a long email dialogue with someone and their signature shows up every single time and it's this big blocky thing that's taking up all the screen, it's really annoying. So what we do is we have a reply signature and we have an, an original signature. The original signature might have your picture or logos or anything about your organization. It's a big chunky thing, but then every reply would be a much smaller signature. So as I skip through here, you'll see all these pictures and this just is showing the setup of the signature in the back end. And again, this is something we can help you with if you have any trouble. Um, but let's get through here. So it's how to set it up. You can do uh, customer satisfaction surveys in your signature, all kinds of really neat stuff. Uh, and I'm going to get to where the actual signatures are. So here's an example of a signature. So you've got this nice little uh, editor that you can go in and you can create your signature, have your logo, and there's many ways that this can be laid out. It's not just what you see here. You don't just replace these images. You can put new images, different sized images, different size fonts, different colors, you name it. All your social media links can be on here. Anything that drives customers to your, your website or to your, your goods should be in here. Um, and so that would be your initial signature. And then you can have a different signature as well um, for response signatures. Now, the company we use, Code2, has a whole bunch of templates. And we have found that their templates are fine. We just reuse them all the time. So a customer would come in here and see what template they want to use. And we would make some minor modifications and get it turned on for the customer. So uh, the cost to do signatures is usually a couple of dollars a month per user. And it's money well spent. Again, the marketing is just for it is just fantastic. The things that you can put on here and, and get your, your customers to uh, maybe buy new goods and services. You may just want to tell them about something that's changing the organization. You're going to be building a new office. You, here's your new address, change your address, whatever. It just There's a dozen things you can put on here. But, but if you do it, manage it and update it periodically. You know, once every month, two months, put something new on there about the products and services you have to offer. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And this kind of gives you, again, just a little bit more pictures of how that works. And this can all be found on the code2.com website. If you're a customer of Arclight and would like to use this and have us help you set it up, no problem whatsoever. If you're not a customer, we can still help you with products like this. Um, but it's, it's something I feel like everyone should be using as a signature tool on their emails. You know, if no other reason, just the professionalism of knowing that every one of your employees is sending out the same message, the same look and feel globally for all their correspondence. If you've ever had an employee that sent out an email with a giant purple font and it did not match the company, the, or it didn't have things in there that you really wanted them to say, this is a good time to actually change that and you can globally control it for every employee. 
That's all I've got. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Stay tuned. We're going to have another episode every Tuesday where we teach you a new business technical skill that will allow you to improve efficiency and create productivity within your organization. Thank you. Thank you.